Hey guys, it's Dr. D, and today I'm just going to talk about creating and sharing videos. So in some earlier videos, I've talked to you about using screencasting tools. Right now, I'm using Screencastify. I have the free version. It gives me five minutes, which quite honestly, if I'm talking for more than five minutes, you're probably not listening. Another tool that people really like um, that goes, right again, right into your browser is Loom. Um, so either try out Screencastify or Loom, but once you've got your videos out there, let's just face it, you need to be able to have a platform or space to share them. Now, I'm going to be making an Ed Puzzle, which I've never done before, so I thought, hey, let me just talk and walk through people the process that I'm going through in terms of making my own Ed Puzzle, because there's really a lot that goes on to doing anything digitally, and um, it's important to, to hear how other people do it. So again, you've got your videos, but now you're probably like, how do I share them? Well, if you already have a Gmail account, then you already have YouTube. So this is the fastest, easiest way to kind of upload and share videos. So once you are in your Google account, click on that um, keyboard and you'll see the YouTube app. Take you right there. You can start your own YouTube channel. Um, my kids like gaming, so excuse that. <laughs> But um, this is this is what it looks like, right? So you want to go to your YouTube channel or your videos, and then it will take you to your video channel. I've done a banner, and it was really easy. Just if you have Facebook, you can upload a, a background image, and it's just like a Facebook uh, profile. So now that I have my YouTube channel layout, I can make playlists. I can upload videos really easy. There's two ways that I like to do it. Um, I can either send them to myself as an email and then just drag and drop it. Or if I have a video right here on my smartphone, all I need is the YouTube app. I just go right into my YouTube app and I'm going to look for the little camera. It's the same camera that you'll see here at the top of my YouTube page where it says create a video or post. So you just click on that and then upload a video. Now, I can either drag and drop, or I can just find it and select it on my computer. I'll just do that. And here's my video. It's for my Ed Puzzle. We're doing an Ed Puzzle on math vocabulary. And once again, I have corralled my children and bribed them with Roblox time if they will do a video for Mommy's YouTube. So pretty simple. You see it's already starting to upload. It usually takes about five minutes. And this is going to be like a three-part Ed Puzzle with um, if you're not familiar with Edpuzzle, definitely check it out. It's kind of like a video with questions that are embedded in the video. So I know a lot of you teachers love to show videos to their students, but then you're like, well, how do I know they're actually watching it? And how do I check for their understanding? Well, Edpuzzle will allow you to do that. But first, you need to get a video. And you don't have to make a video. You can also just find a video on the YouTube that you want your students to watch, and you can embed questions. So this will be my Edpuzz puzzle math video. And any of these detail tabs, I can go back and edit later. So I don't need to go into all the granular right now. All right, I can change it and say which playlist I wanted to have on. This is for my distance learning peeps, because I'm showing you how to use some distance learning tools. If I want it Required for kids, I can change those settings. It's not for kids, it's for adults. And then the video processes. And later on, you can add some additional video elements, like if you want them to watch another video, you want to add cards, like subscribe to my channel, or like it if you like it, and don't like it if you don't like it, and so on and so forth. And then depending on who your audience is, um, if you just want your students to see it and you don't, maybe they made a video and you want to just share it privately so they can share their videos with their peers, you can set it to private. This video, um, I can also just make it list unlisted if anyone just has the link. This one's going to be public so that all my teacher friends can share it and learn how to make a video and upload it. In the next part of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I put it all together with Edpuzzle.